I wrote my poem, When He Outgrew Cute, about my 16-year-old son, Lucas, who has severe autism. And that poem went viral a couple of months ago because I think so many caregivers could relate. Um, and honestly, that poem came about after a really difficult day at the park with Lucas. Um, all throughout the pandemic, we, my husband and I would bring the kids to the park to play. Uh, we have a really deserted park here in town and it was a way to get us out of the house and to get Lucas out and walking and just a change of scenery. And um, one day my husband couldn't come with us after lunch. So I brought the kids to the park and I brought Lucas who at the time was 15 years old and usually he was pretty compliant and he enjoyed his time and today he was just in a mood there was a lot of screaming he's primarily nonverbal, and he's getting bigger he's getting more difficult for me to be able to handle and manage as a 43 year old woman and on this particular day um you know i knew he had to get out of the house he had to get some fresh air he had to work his muscles he um he needs that and so I knew it was going to be exhausting, but I loaded up all the kids and I loaded up Lucas and we went to the park and I, um, you know, the kids ran off to play as soon as we got there and I coaxed Lucas out of the car. Um, he wasn't really in the mood on this particular day and he finally stood up and agreed to let me sort of lead him over by the slide. Um, he's... He's mobile, but he needs assistance. Uh, he, he can't walk on his own. And something triggered him. Um, as I held his hand, he turned on me and he screamed and he like grabbed my hair and yanked my head down as hard as he could. And on this particular day, there were people sitting um, on the, the park bench. And I just remember their looks. Um, and I saw for the first time in a long time what Lucas looked like through their eyes. Um, a grown man like mauling his mother, mauling this woman. And I had two 17 year old sons at the time as well. And I thought that would never go over with with those boys but for some reason you know because Lucas has severe autism he's mauling me and pulling on my hair and I can feel like the tears starting to well up as I'm viewing my son through the eyes of these people staring at us and our day didn't last very long that day um Lucas wasn't having it my arms were all bruised and scratched by the time we had gotten into the van um, a couple minutes later I called out to the kids sorry kids we have to leave early today Lucas is in a mood and it's always oh why does Lucas have to ruin it for us which I don't have any good answers for that Lucas is part of our family so we keep trying and I will until the day he dies but I, on the way home the poem came to me when he outgrew cute. I thought he used to be such a cute little boy and people were so eager to invite him into their circles when he was little. And when, you know, he was little, four or five years old and in diapers, that's not such a big deal or seven or eight or even 10. I mean, still a cute little boy, still manageable, still able to, you know, have some semblance of control over the situation as a caregiver but as he's aged and he will now be 17 this August and going through puberty and everything that that entails and seeing him as like an aggressive man and seeing him through the eyes of society and he's not so cute anymore according to society and what do we do with that as caregivers, as mamas? Like, what do we do with that? There isn't, 
I still want to be able to bring him to the park. I still want to be able to bring my other kids to the park. Do I want my other kids to see my son with severe autism hurting me, hitting me, kicking me, pulling my hair, leaving bruises up and down my arms? You know, he doesn't mean to do these things. It is what it is. I don't know what the answer is. Um, but that's where the poem came from. As we drew, or as we drove home, the words were just spilling out in my head and in my thoughts. And as soon as we got home and I got Lucas settled in his normal routine, which is what he thrives on, I went upstairs and 30 minutes later, the poem was written when he outgrew cute. The services stopped. The looks started. The resources stopped. You get on the phone and all you hear is sorry, sorry, sorry. The waiting list for this waiver is 20 years long. Or I'm sorry there's no funding. Or I'm sorry there's no respite. Or I'm sorry there aren't any resources or support. Or I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. And yet, as caregivers, our mental health continues to plummet because we are so alone in this journey. And I thought if, if this poem can somehow reach people and not even, the goal was to reach caregivers so that caregivers would feel less alone, but it was more to reach the general population to show a side of our reality as caregivers that often goes unseen and to peel back that curtain a little bit and to hopefully provide a glimpse into our very isolated and exhausting realities. So, like I had mentioned, Lucas turned 17 this August and I'll, com I'll continue to write, I'll continue to advocate, I'll continue to show the nitty gritty because if society doesn't know, they can't help. And if society doesn't start to help, we're going to continue to have these horrific stories of caregivers who just can't do it anymore. And either, you know, take matters into their own hands or check out completely or, you know, it's, that's just, that's not an option. We need to step it up. As a society, you know, autism isn't going anywhere. Special needs aren't going anywhere. Um, the advances that we have in the medical community and in medical advances in general, um, these babies that wouldn't have made it 100 years ago live and do quite well and have a lot of needs. And as caregivers, you know, we step up and we take care of those needs, but we have needs as well, and we need to be supported. And um, I will spend the rest of my life advocating for this very exhausted and isolated segment of society. And um, yeah, I'll continue to use my words as well to reach out to this part of society to hopefully make a difference in the lives of caregivers.